Well, good evening everyone. This is another video I've been waiting to make for a while. Welcome to Survival Camp. <laughs> this is Man in Shed Spends Night in Hot Shed. And uh, start of the show there is our little hot tent that we've plumbed into the ceiling. And uh, we're going to spend the night here. I've just had a huge, huge dinner. What have we got by way of supplies? Booze and chocolate and tea. Perfect. Right, let's get a fire going. Right then, that's phase one complete. Man against the elements. We've got protection because I've locked the door. Uh, we've got shelter because we're in the shed. And now uh, we've got warmth because I've got the fire going. And uh, that wasn't too much of a drama. And uh, these little pomoli stoves, once they get going, they just go and go and go. And they're lovely. All nice and safe. Cook a cup of tea on it the next day. Cook your beans. Do whatever you like. You can even bake pizzas on them. So now I'm going to get some, my admin sorted out. Get some wood ready. I'm going to sit on with the evening. So, welcome back, and uh, there you go, we're all underway now, and our fire is absolutely chucking out some amazing heat, which is tremendous. It's, uh, <laughs> I've got the choke full open on there, but I get half closed at the back, so there's a bit more flame dwell time. I've established my wa mobile Wi-Fi hotspot, so I can watch telly, which seems like a stupid thing to do, I mean, come out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so we're gonna watch a bit of TV. Uh, Supplies-wise, let's have a look at what we've got. I've got the famous titanium mug that goes with me everywhere. Got about a litre of water. Got a jam jar full of scotch. Got our scotch. Got enough to make three cups of tea. A small bag of misshapen chocolate. And two cans of Stella Artois. So, it, uh, <laughs> it's surviving and in quite some considerable style. You might be thinking, how's he lighting this? Well, I've got this battery pad thing. And then going up that ridiculously bright thing that apparently is good for 12 hours. Anyway, I'm getting the ump with that now, so I might turn that down a little bit because it's uh, it's kicking out too much light. But already inside the shed, it's five degrees, seven degrees outside, and in the shed it's probably heading up to about 20. I've just put my thermals on, and now I kind of wish I hadn't because I'm dripping. I'm only like a meter away from the fire too. So uh, so far so good, all looking good. Not quite sure how effective the uh, all the tinfoil screens for reflecting heat back are but um, I'm certainly not cold and uh, that's just lovely what else we got we've got uh, sleeping bag little cushion secondary sleeping bag load of firewood and a bag and a couple of headlights just in case but uh, I think we're gonna sit back have a few beers and watch a bit of telly just your average Wednesday night in the shed and welcome back what do we got now time wise it's half past seven the fire is well established. This place is like a little sweat lodge in here. It's absolutely phenomenal. I've just been out to check the roof isn't catching fire and it looks like my uh, my little engineering bit has worked. I'll just give you a little gander at that. A lot of thought went into that. Bit of welding, bit of head scratch and uh, that seems to be keeping everything nice which is an important factor because I don't want anything bursting the flames around me in the middle of the night. So. Two Stellas in and one episode of Clarkson, and uh, not made a start on the chocolates yet. This um, this USB light is really, really bright, almost too bright, so I'm not I'm gonna get rid of that in a minute. But uh, yeah, I've stripped down to the thermals, and it's toasty, toasty warm in here. Given the fact that it's like about th four or five degrees outside, this is actually phenomenally good. It's not insulated, because it's just a shed, but uh, you can certainly tell where the gaps are, and uh, we've got some sealant, so, for the next possible 
um, encounter when we use this, we might go and plug all the gaps up. But uh, having said which, it's nice to have a bit of airflow because it is red hot in here at the moment. I'm guessing it'd probably be about 24, 25 degrees, which is fantastic. And uh, I've just chucked last year's Christmas tree up there, <laughs> up the flue. So that's even better. There's upcycling for you. So stay tuned. Cheers. Well, it's probably going to be the last post tonight. I came down here getting fully ready for the Arctic Circle. And it hasn't quite worked like that because it's turned into bloody Hawaii. I brought, put my thermals on, I lit the fire, and uh, I'm just going to raise the camera so you can't see the rest of it, but I'm sitting here just in my hands. This is ridiculous. It's like 28 degrees in here, which is fabulous. Hardly used any wood at all. The thing is really, really warm. There's been no problems with the chimney stack or anything else, and uh, I'm rating that a major success. However, what I am rating as a bit of a fail is uh, by the end of this, I'm going to run out of scotch. So uh, that'll be back to cups of tea. Thanks for watching, and uh, <laughs> it won't be like this next week, I can assure you. Take care and stay tuned. Well, here we are in first thing in the morning. It's still, uh, still in ice yet, and uh, I've just got the fire going, which is tremendous because uh, it was not amazingly cold last night, but I wasn't going to stay up all night feeding the fire. But last night it was actually pretty warm. I was down to the bare, bare minimum amount of clothes. And uh, lessons learned always have a backup. Today my uh, my butane torch thing ran out. But as a backup, all I had to uh, get things going this morning was this magnesium block, which literally I've had for about 30 years. There's almost no spark left in it at all. But however, this, uh, this magnesium block with a few bits of scrapings and a tiny, tiny scrap of receipt managed to get my fire going. So uh, it just goes to show you can never have enough of a backup. So fire's going, tea's on, and uh, we've made it through the night. Very windy last night. It's uh, not too noisy in here at all. I have to get quite a good night's sleep. So tea time in a bit, and then we'll see what the rest of the day brings.